Hi guys. Welcome to yet another video. While working with MATLAB, you may have heard of Simulink many times. But actually what Simulink is? In this video, no, in a series of videos we'll decode what Simulink is. We came with different ideas to make you familiar with Simulink. Now without any delay let's start our video. Before working with Simulink, we should know what is Simulink. Simulink is the graphical programming package that works in association with MATLAB and interacts as one combined package. It is employed for modeling, simulating, and analyzing dynamic systems, control algorithm development, and so forth. It supports linear and non-linear systems, continuous and discrete systems, and multi-rate systems. With Simulink, you can model myriad types of systems, processes, and problems, and you can use top-down and bottom-up approaches. The Simulink package, like MATLAB, is expandable. By using its standard blocks, you can develop your own library of blocks and subsystems and add to existing Simulink libraries and expand them. Now open MATLAB. We can launch Simulink in three ways. We can open it from the tab available here. Or we can select New, and here we can select Simulink Model. Another way to launch Simulink is, just type Simulink in Command Window. A window will pop up. From the Simulink startup window, you can open existing models or recently worked ones from the left side panel. We can create a new model by clicking on blank model or other options are available. We have many layouts for different applications. Here we can design a ROM, register and state machine in MATLAB from the models available here. Also from the Examples tab user can open, study and change existing examples. There are dozens of examples from different areas of engineering, physics, computing, image processing, code generation and so forth. Note that, Simulink is a standalone package, and there are a few toolboxes and add-ons that can be installed. All of the blocks of the additional libraries and add-ons will be accessible once they're installed from the Simulink library browser. Now let's create new blank model. We will get a blank model like this. It is our workspace. We can add blocks from the Simulink library. Click on this icon. That will open a Simulink library window. It must be noted that the toolboxes that are available in the library are defined by which toolboxes are installed and which user-developed created custom libraries are installed. If necessary, you can also create a new blank model by clicking on the new model icon in the library browser. Let's know how to work with it. From sources drag sine wave. To observe the wave, we need a scope. Find it from sync library. Drag it to the workspace. Now connecting this blocks is very simple. Adjust a block in line with the previous block, it will show the wire to connect. Click on it, it will root automatically. Let's check this block. We generate a sine wave with amplitude of 1 volts and frequency of 1 radian per second. Let's see it. We run the Simulink mode from here. We click on this green button. Wait for few seconds it's running. After compiling you will get a sound. Now double click on the scope to see the waveform. Yup we get it. Now increase the amplitude to 10 units. Run it again. Yes, we get a sine wave with amplitude of 10. Let's add another signal source. Drag the signal generator. Now look at its properties. It generates a sine wave with amplitude of 1 unit. Connect it to scope. Now run the model. Double click on the scope. We can see two waveforms with amplitude of 1 and 10 units. Change the frequency and amplitude to 10 and observe the waveform again. Oops, we lost it somewhere. Let's check it. Here the frequency is in radians per second. Now change it to hertz and run it again. Yup we got it. Also check for other types of signals.
We can use these available blocks to simulate or design required models. But we save it for later. We will know how to use them in our next video.